My name is Katie and this is my channel, Created to Create. This is episode five of my knitting podcast and I'm here with my co-hostesses. This is my grandmother Gwen and my mother Mandy and we, are, we have so much stuff to tell you. I think this is going to be the longest episode we've ever filmed because we've been so busy. So our first order of business is what we are wearing and we're wearing hand mitt things today. It's It's been a wonderful week. What, like in the high 70s, low 80s all week. And it's really hilarious because my sons are wearing their hand knit hats and gloves and sweaters. <laughs> in Texas, that's cold enough to wear hand knit Apparently hats. in Texas, that's cold. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we went to the fair today and my son wore his Mandalorian jacket and his Mandalorian ha helmet all around the fair. <laughs> it was actually pretty popular. He got, it was. He got a lot of yeah. attention. <laughs> But we are wearing um, something we actually, it's also, this is a combination item because it is an acquisition, mm -hmm. a finished object, both. Yes. Because we bought this yarn at the DFW Fiber Festival that was last weekend? Yeah, we, had, we, we were there a lot. Yeah, time. last we, weekend. We were there. And we started it, we cast it on during the Fiber Festival, and we finished it in time to wear it to the fair today. So the cool thing about this cowl is the pattern spells out we knit in texas y'all in binary code so we thought that was pretty awesome it was a pattern by periodic knits which tell the story of periodic knits because i think that's pretty interesting periodic knits so the the designer behind periodic knits is um was a chemist that got into dyeing yarn yeah the yarn is called 100 sheep i think or mm -hmm. something like yeah. that that's the company, yeah, one yeah. machine. So, and I think the the pattern was originally um, created to to raise money for hemophilia awareness mm -hmm. and and things like that. So, I think it's a free pattern on Ravelry now. But if you um, choose to knit it, they encourage you to make a donation to the hemo hemophilia organization of your choice. So, it, it is um, also supporting awareness for blood disorders. But so we did go to DFW Fiber Festival. We had the most fun time. I think all we did was shop and knit and then eat and then shop and knit and eat. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Two whole days. <laughs> anyway, so you can tell we had all the fun, right? That's We had a blast. Right? All the fun. You missed out. I know I did. I'm sorry. Next year. Okay. Um, now we want to talk to you about all the fun things we bought. We bought a lot of fun things. Do you want to start? Okay. So... <laughs> I did not bring a bag with me for yarn and um, accessories. So the first thing I had to buy, excuse me just a minute while I get it, was we have a table full of things to show you. The DFW Fiber Fest bag. From 2019. Yes, this is from 2019. So this is the, this bag is a little bit one of the past um, things. But it's got, it's kind of like insulated on the inside. Yeah, it's like a cooler. Like a cooler. It's got lots of cool pockets. And so that was and the first thing I, I had to get was something to put my stuff in. All right. Then I guess probably one of the first things we bought was the um, We Knit in Texas Yarn. Yeah, I think we bought that right away. And I actually... I don't have it in here, I don't think. And Actually, is this what you're looking for? Oh, wait, there it is, yeah. Oh, this is, this so this is, is the yarn oh. in the original hank. And it's three hanks twisted together, actually. And this is the pattern. And it was a really pretty quick knit. It didn't take very long to oh, do. No. Like three days, maybe. Yeah, three days, maybe. And so we're enjoying it because, like we said, if it's below 80 in Texas, it's knit weather. Mm -hmm. So and we're going to wear them to the state fair in a couple of weeks. Yeah. All right. So we um, had some of the things we were looking to see. We had some, the yarn companies tend to make projects to advertise their yarn. And so one of the things that I saw, I wasn't familiar with it, Katie was actually familiar with it, was this sweater <coughs> here called the Bright Axis T. And so I decided that I wanted to knit that. And Katie decided she wanted to knit it. And we found a yarn company that specialized in nothing but self-striping sock yarn. It was called Tumbleweed. And so I started looking through my stash um, on my phone to see what I had at home in solid colors and found 
two different things. I found something that I could use and something that Katie could use. And so we bought the self-striping yarn. And this is gonna be my base color. And then, let's see. And we're gonna, this is Katie's birthday present. <laughs> oh no, my yarn coming. Uh oh. And so her birthday's not till November. And so um, she's not getting it just yet because we are going to cast this on on Thanksgiving. Yeah. So it's gonna be our, our fall Katie's birthday project. Which we are excited about. Yeah. Let me get back in there. Kind of fun. All just right. Toss it away. So moving right along, um, there was a shawl in one of the, I forgot, oh, what was the name of this one? I forgot the name of the store. Oh, it's, it's, this is it. Yes. Stunning String Studio. And this shawl was made up on a mannequin. And it seems like the last time we were at Fiber Festival, I saw this and wanted it, but I didn't buy it. Well, this year I bought it, and it's just an aquatic, navy, nautical. nautical, right? Nautical themed shawl. It's not a real big shawl, but it'll be in the red, white, and blue. Oh, Your and the other thing you bought to go with it is oh, under your bag. Yeah, I see it down there. Excuse me again. And so then I bought this um, shawl clip to go with it, and it's kind of patriotic. So I figure, you know, it'll work for patriotic yeah, you stuff. You should put this clip inside this bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, as well as. Just red, white, and blue, because, you know, who doesn't like red, white, and blue? Well, I'm sure there's somebody, but we'll do that later. Okay. <laughs> All right. What do you want to talk about next? She still has um, stuff, y'all. I still have stuff. I did. All right. So, another thing we saw displayed was the solar system. And this I had to talk. I, I waited. I waited and waited because it was kind of pricey, but it is going to make an amazing shawl. And so this is going to be the base yarn, and it's sparkly like, like the galaxy, black with stars. The and yarn is called Noir. In, is that how you say that? Noir. Oh, Noir. Noir, like Pinot Noir. There you go. And um, the wine enthusiast will know what that is. And then the solar system mini skein sets. This is here, and there is a skein for each planet. It, 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 you have to include Pluto. You have to recognize Pluto as a planet because there are nine of them here. So we, we didn't go with the, um, I didn't, I'm probably not going to use the shawl. They had it um, as a sample at the, at the vendor, but I have found a different one that I think I'm going to work with. It. And maybe before next year, I'll get this done. I hope so. I really liked it. I liked the whole idea of it. I was a little jealous, but I was also out of money, so. <laughs> my, my bag in here. Now we had, the, there was a vendor. It was, it was called Sexy Knits or something like that. And she had all kinds of fun stuff. Notions and accessories and some yarn. And one of the things that she had was just bins of stitch markers. Yep. And you could pick out um, 10, I think, right? Yeah. 10 plus a bag, and it was $10 for all that together. So uh, let's see. This one's yours, I'm sure, because it's orange. Yep, that's mine. And this one's mine. And then we picked out 10 for Katie's younger sister, my youngest daughter, who's, who's, a, crochet. who's a crocheter. So we were able to get, and she loves Halloween. It's one of her favorite holidays. So we have a lot of little Halloween type themed stitch markers that we got for her. The difference when you knit and crochet is the stitch markers for crochet have these claw, claw clasps versus just the rings. And then I don't know what Katie focused on with her stitch markers. Oh, mine are very random. Here's a Ravenclaw. I didn't focus on anything. These are headphones. <laughs> Here's a robot. I mean, sure, truly, I didn't focus on anything. It um, was whatever struck my fancy. And I like cats. And so they had um, like seven different little cat heads. So I found one of each of the kinds they had and then just filled in with other things. Like, there's a whole kitty. But that was kind of a little fun thing because stitch markers. Honestly, it, we must have spent like 20 minutes sitting there looking oh, through yeah, them, picking them out. Yeah, okay. And then I think, oh, my bags. Your bags? And my you have bags. one more ball of yarn. Yes. There was a woman, a new vendor there that hadn't been there before this year, and she made these awesome project bags. They're very sturdy. Beautiful. Um, they have a, inside, they have like a pocket to put a drink, a uh, water bottle type deal. And just plenty of room for your yarn, and they're really thick. 
yeah, they're thick and really sturdy. And so I bought one. I'm going to scotch guard it to help it keep it um, clean. And I couldn't find any scotch guard in Lindale, so I had to order it on Amazon. So I will get my scotch guard in the mail or tomorrow, I think, is delivery. But my son is a very big Texas Tech fan. And it's very hard to find things for him for gifts because he just generally buys whatever he wants himself. <laughs> but she had a Texas Tech shaving kit yeah, bag yeah, yeah. made up. So I bought it for him for a belated birthday gift. I think you have that one more ball yarn. Yes, there was a sweater in one of the vendor shops that was, um, it had like a la lace sleeves and lace edging around the bottom. And I hope I can refine the pattern. But, um, Did we take a picture of the tag or anything? I don't remember. I think it was. It, I might be able to find it on Apothecary's website. It was Apothecary was the yeah. The and so I again, I had some solid color already in my stash, so I just bought this fingering weight to make the um, lace sleeves and the lace under part of the sweater. All right, and then I I didn't come away totally empty-handed. Oh, the door prizes. Yes. Well, first I'm going to show you. I bought several little things. I, I bought, this was from the same string place that her nautical shawl came from. It's a shawl pin, and I've used it several times, and I really like it. It's small, but it holds your everything really well. So I bought that. And then this lady, I have found her on Etsy before, and I cannot think of the name of her shop right now off the top of my head. But she recycles old aluminum knitting needles into different things. So we had already bought, I had already bought a couple of shawl pins from her, and Mother was actually wearing hers. Mm -hmm. And we found her shop, and so I bought a barrette that's made out of an old knitting needle. And then this, I, I can't tell you enough how much this makes me happy. This pin has a Velociraptor on it, and it's, she's knitting, and it says, Clever Girl. <laughs> and you have to kind of be a Jurassic Park fan, fan to get that. To, to get that. <laughs> I loved it. I had to have it. I actually collect, the, like, enamel pins, so... That had to go in my collection. And then there was a stitch marker swap. So there's even more stitch marker mm -hmm. goodness. But I'm not going to dig those out. The stitch marker swap every year is always a lot of fun. Everybody makes different kinds of stitch markers. And we stand around and, and trade. And it's always fun. Mm -hmm. So those were the little things I bought. And I didn't know what else I was going to get. And the whole first day we were there on Friday, they kept calling door prizes. Every hour they would call a door prize. And I finally looked at my mom and I was like, they keep mispronouncing my name. It's Katie Brohard. Like, how hard is it? Because, you know, they weren't calling my name. Well, Saturday morning we get there and we hear them over the announcement they're going to call the first door prize. And my mom looks at me and she says, hey, maybe they'll pronounce your name right. And then they called my name. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was it was perfect timing. You couldn't have planned it better. But I won a skein of all 100% bamboo yarn from Theodora's Pearls. And this is the skein that I won. And I bought, because you know, this is how they get you, two more skeins to go with it. And I'm going to make a shrug. But one thing that she showed me that I found really helpful was when you're trying to pick colors, to wind them together like this and you can kind of see how the colors will play together a little bit better rather than just um just holding them together like this she she showed she showed me to pull it together but it's a it's going to be like a half linen stitch faded shrug in these three colors and i'm very excited to get that started of course i had to buy the book that had oh, the book was over there that had the pattern with it so i got the book bamboo wraps by Alyssa barton the knitting fairy and I'm very excited about that. Now I do have a couple of things that did not come from DFW Fiber Festival. These are from my very favorite um, hand dye, hand dyed yarn dyer. Is that how you say it? Yarn dyer. These are a gift that Ch Tracy sent me on a new um, mm. a new base that she's got. This is luster wool. It is 65% superwash merino and 35% bamboo. It is so soft, and these are gonna make. Um, some shorty socks. I'm going to try it out on my sock machine to see how it knits up on my sock machine. But it's oh, wow. really soft. Oh, wow. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was almost like, I don't know if I want to make socks out of this. But <laughs> that is beautiful. Feet. We're, we're yeah. going to make socks out of it. So, And that would bring us to our Blanket of Knowledge boxes. And our September boxes have arrived. I know. I haven't got my cake yet. It's well, it's okay. Ahead. You can still show it. 
So this is the September DK Weight Turquoise box, which is beautiful. Yes. And then you got, I think, the brown colorway, right? I don't have any idea. I think she got the brown colorway. I'm pulling it the wrong way. Oh, yeah. I haven't even seen your colorway yet, Mom. Ooh. Is this a September one? That's a September one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there like a month later? Yeah. I don't think I don't think off. that this she sent her an August one because she didn't decide to do the crochet oh, along until okay. after we had already kind of started. That's really pretty. But the fun thing about the knit along is it doesn't matter when you start. You just start when you start and you stop when you've done twelve months worth. Or I guess you could keep going forever if you wanted to. Oh. Is that the Tunisian crochet hook? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. So the the September crochet box has a Tunisian crochet hook in it because that's the kind of stitch. Yeah, that's the kind of stitch you're doing. So I'm going to be really adventurous with mine because I'm going to do a knit block and a crochet block block. 4.5 millimeters is what I want to see. I want to do a knit block and a crochet block. So my blanket of knowledge will have a combination of um, skills in it. And mine will be all knit because I don't, I don't crochet. And hers will be all crochet because she's learning to knit, but I don't know if she's quite ready to knit this blanket. I don't think so. <laughs> You'd see when I'm trying to and do And my September box has already been um, opened and and finished. <laughs> so I can show you my block for September, which is a finished object. That was finished. your August block. For August, sorry. Mm -hmm. My block for August, which is a finished object. Mm -hmm. And my block for September, which is now also a finished object. Okay. And because I am me, I already have my October yarn. Y'all don't have y'all's October yarn. Plus, yet. you're doing the tutorials. <laughs> I know. I have to get mine early so I can film <laughs> the game plan videos, but it's still fun to kind of be like, neener, neener, neener. The October block is really going to be fun. It's going to be color work. So, oh, you're wow. actually going to get five different oh, wow. colors. And then you'll, you'll be able to do color work in your October block. Wow. So, I'm very excited about that. I haven't, I have started it, but it's not very far along just yet. Um, no, I did not make that bag. All right. Is that everything that we've acquired new? I think so. That's a lot. That's a, like, I think, and this is the fifth episode and I don't think we've ever done an acquisition section before. No, I don't think we have either. <laughs> but, but we should be good for a while, one would think, right? We do have some finished objects and some whips to show you. Are we going to show... Finish objects first. Whatever you want to do. All right. You've Your already shoulder. got yours hanging out. So. Um, this is slightly less family friendly than usual. So uh, if you have young viewers and you and you don't want them to see underwear, now would be the time to skip ahead. There. Okay. I warned them. All right. One of my coworkers is getting married October 22nd. And we had a bridal shower for her. And um, this didn't make it in the bridal shower, which is another story for another time, but she'll get it this week. <laughs> and so um, the, our bridal shower theme was pancakes and panties. And so I thought I would knit her some panties. So I found this pattern on Ravelry. It's called Fifty Shades. So it's a takeoff from the Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm sure. And it's um, just a little white knit thong. <laughs> I wonder how your coworker feels about her underwear being out on YouTube. I don't know. She won't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also knitting a just a panty and bralette combo. And this panty, I, it needs to be blocked and it's, it'll have a ribbon in it. It's like a boy short. But it's like a boy short panty. Then there's just a little bralette that goes with it. Yeah, so there you go. Knit underwear. I finished something too. I finished my West Knit Shawl. Let's see if I can find the right end of the but I didn't bring it. And I tell you, at the Fiber Festival, there were several just... people who had knit this shawl. And yeah, there were a lot of them. And, um, but Katie, I think, I know she got tons of compliments on it. And one of the women, one of, she was part of the, I don't know if she was one of the board members for Fiber Fest, but she was something. But she had I think she was on. working with Juju Knits. But whatever it was, she told Katie that this was like her favorite of all the ones that she had seen at Fiber Festival. I'm beautiful. very, very happy with it. So I got to tell you, the last beautiful. time we showed it, where was it? Oh, I took the stitch marker out. I was somewhere around here the last time we showed it. And then I had knit all the way.
way up to about here. And it was uh, about a week before the Fiber Festival, and I was mm -hmm. all excited. I was going to finish it in time to wear it to the Fiber Festival. And I laid it out on my bed to take a picture, and I realized that this stripe right here, right here, was randomly in stockinette. So I had to pull out all of this to here and re -knit it in five days in order to have it done in time to wear it to the Fiber Festival. And, and she did. got it done. Which I did, too. Yeah. I'm very, very happy with it. It has a really? really lovely size and a really lovely shape. It's very easy to wear. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy about it. Even at, even after it gave me all that trouble making me re-knit it. Because apparently knitting in garter stitch is difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> what else that was about? The simple <laughs> things give her problems. Apparently. Do I have any other finished objects? If I may take a moment to interject, I forgot to mention, but I did finish one more object. This is a scarf for my friend um, Cliff's movie, A Creature Was Stirring. Now you might be looking at it saying it's not finished, but the movie needs the scarf to be incomplete on one end. So it's what I'm calling movie finished. Now after the movie's being shot, I'm sure I will finish the scarf for my friend so that he has uh, a finished scarf to wear in real life. But for the purposes of the movie, it is finished. It has moved on to its home. And I'll put a link down below to the video that talks about the scarf and how it's going to be used in the movie. All right, works in progress. You I, finished that? I had my I had my white one person there just about finished. I mean, it's oh. way to show and it's way on the bed. Go get it. Okay. So I while she goes I'll to get that, oh yeah, we can do the perseverance shawl. Oh yeah, we'll do that real quick. Or the blanket. Yeah, or the blanket. Yeah. So Katie showed hers last episode, and um, so this is the cool colorway. And this is the wrong side. You need to turn it over. Oh, let's get it situated here. There we go. So the, they just had they just had the mystery clue number nine come out. So this is through eight. Through eight. And um, I got the yarn ordered for us for clue nine. And as soon as it comes in, we'll finish clue nine. But it's really turning out to be a, this is the wrong side that we're showing here, is it? I think. Yeah, it is. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, this shows you what I know. This is the right side. I thought, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's hard to tell the difference. Yeah, it, it's pretty on both sides. I just know because I know how I, how I, oh yeah, I can see the in my out. yarn, yeah. But yeah, it's really turning out quite well. I'm, I think it's going to be a really, it's, I, I'm liking it because we're getting some different color into it. I don't feel like it's all purple and navy blue anymore. <laughs> I like it. So next, next episode, hopefully we'll have clue number nine knit and Katie will demonstrate it with her warm color way. Do you have anything else you're working on that you want to show? Um, no, not really. All right. Well, your blue blanket. No, it's <laughs> I've shown it the last two times and it's almost done. She's but... not quite done with her cabled Callahan cabled baby blanket. Almost. I just I just need to do like a few more rows and then the border. Right, but she ran out of yarn. <laughs> I'm having to wait for more yarn. I'm sure that never happens to anybody. No, I never I never run out of yarn. Let me tell you about me running out of yarn. Oh my goodness. Mamrish has been working on something new. This, I have, work, I'll show you what I'm working on with it, but I, this, this is just about finished. This is called a cocoa, uh, coconut bag. Oh, wow. I found this the, when I was making Japanese knot bags. Mm hmm And so I found this in the crochet. I haven't got my lining inside of it yet, but I've got the crochet part completed. That's a good size size bag. Stitch, that's, too. that's done with larger, um, Worsted knit, you know, just mm -hmm. like a worsted knit, and that you gave me, in fact. And this one is the one I'm working on that I'm making it with a smaller needle, and naturally it makes it more close. It knit. looks like the honeycomb stitch. Yeah, it does. That's this, what I was this is again for Katie's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My birthday's in October. I know, but we're busy just, just so making things you know. for me. We, we, we did not forget that when we, we did were not. At the fiber there festival. might have just been so you know. an acquisition that wasn't shown. Well, there I, might had, have been. I had my knitting that I'm working on. I'm working so hard to learn to knit, and I had it about six inches big, and I found so many mistakes that I cannot continue on with all those mistakes. 
So I ripped it out three times. And <laughs> now I'm going back again. But I have learned to cast on, knit, and purl. I have not learned about dropping stitches and adding stitches and all that kind of stuff yet. So that's in the pro in the future. But hey, you've but, got the three main things. But I know how to do those. Now bind I'm not off, doing it in the right place. <laughs> bind off is all that's left. So so, I can get those done. Didn't you finish one in a different color? I, mean, I didn't finish it. Oh, okay. It had too many. And waters. she made this bag too. Well, this is the yeah. This is one of the knot, the knot, the Japanese knot bags. That's the one she Where said. I found this, but this I have really, and I do this with a smaller needle, which makes it smaller than that one. Mm -hmm. I did that with a G and That's worsted. A well, this is done in a three, oh, wow. and uh, cotton yarn from Hobby Lobby, I think. Sport by it. and uh, but you make a lining to go inside it, and it, it I'll be doing that next with this so this is almost done to where i can do the straps okay says she likes deep ones so i probably I go ahead and do it by the by the pattern this was my pattern the crochet village is where it's from yeah, and the pattern sense. is called the coco knot bag, knot bag. Mm -hmm. very simple very easy to do only it's got the uh uh what do you call the front um what would you call that you you saying that front double crochet knit uh, front oh, front post double front, crochet. Yeah, it's F F D D C. Mm -hmm. And that's the, all the way through this bag, all the way from the beginning to end. I mean, you just you, oh, you wow. put your chain and then you put that on it. And so it's it's simple. It could be monotonous, but it looks pretty as you're doing it's it. It's very so. pretty. I was real pleased with it. This was my sample. I like the bottom. Oops, we have some. Vegeta vegetation on it. <laughs> we have a lot of it's animals. organic. I would say Bella. Bella <laughs> organic <was in>. acrylic <laughs> yarn. Everything that comes from this house will have um, orange tabby cat hair woven throughout. <laughs> Both are for my lining to know what. To uh -huh. do. Oh, gotcha. But, All right. That's what I'm doing. Well, and then I have one more work in progress. That's a new work in progress. So I cast this on, I think either at Fiber Festival or right on the way there or something. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is the Hot Springs Fiber Company um, Grand Gesture Bandana Cowl. Oh. So I, I think I showed you in one of the, um, like, episode 4.5 or episodes, uh, the sampler pack that I bought when I was at Hot Springs Fiber Company. And this is the pattern that I bought to knit the sampler pack with. So it uses each of the different um, types of yarn. So it starts with, yeah, it'll go over my head. If it's just, you, it's still on needles. Yeah. So this top stuff is the silky alpaca, which is the softest yarn I have ever touched. I, I absolutely love it, and I want to marry it someday. <laughs> Whenever they make marrying yarn legal, they make marrying everything else legal. So. <laughs> It's the silky Dr. alpaca. Just identify as something. Oh, I identify as a as an alpaca. <laughs> it is um, seventy percent baby alpaca and thirty percent silk. And then the next little bitty section, I think, is magic merino sport, which is one hundred percent superwash merino. Then this section right here, the lighter color, is luster wool, which is sixty five percent merino and thirty five percent bamboo. This is the seriously sock, which is. 85% uh, merino and 15% nylon. Then there's the the, the then money got shot. The, northern lights. the foggy northern lights that I'm in love with. Between that and the silky alpaca, I, I'm going to go broke, I guess. <laughs> then it then it just repeats. You have another section of the magic oh, merino yeah. and another section of the luster wool and another section of the foggy northern lights, another section of the sock, oh, gosh, and then beautiful. you um, pick up. I'm basically I'm almost done. So the last section is like a ruffle around the bottom of the bandana and that's knit with mohair So you probably can't even see that strand mm. of mohair there, but I just started knitting with the mohair Like I don't even think I've gone a whole round put yet. Newborn reborn baby dolls. Oh, yeah. really? Mohair? Hair. Well, there you go. So I started this I think maybe the day before fiber festival because I think I cast it on it, So yeah, I was working yeah. on it in the car mm -hmm. and I am Go to probably finish it this week, hopefully. And then I think after that I'm going to do my shrug. Because I'm excited to work with that bamboo from Theodora's Pearls. Yeah. I'm going to cast on Asher's blanket either tonight or tomorrow. Blanket. Asher's sweater. I mean, Asher's sweater tonight or tomorrow, yeah. So, anyway, there's 
all the craziness that's been going on over here. I hope you've been knitting all kinds of things too. And I've not been very good about this, but if you are enjoying these episodes, please like and subscribe and comment. And I have another fun thing to announce before we go. Oh, yeah. If you like and subscribe and comment, you will be entered in a drawing to win. Is this it? Mm -hmm. This is the Hot Springs Fiber Company Blanket of Knowledge September box in DK weight colorway turquoise. So one lucky winner will get this box for free. That is what we are giving away. Gosh, so be gorgeous. sure and like, subscribe, and comment below. Yep. And you're only getting the one month for free. If you if you decide you want to knit the whole blanket, you'll have to go online to Hot Springs Fiber Company and, and sign up. And I don't have color options. I just have the turquoise one. But it is beautiful. And if you would like to win this box, leave us a comment. We're going to draw the winner probably in a couple of weeks. No later than the next podcast, which will be four weeks from now. So how will you contact them to know where to send it? Um, I will put my email in the description when we announce the winner, and then the winner can email me their information, okay. and I will send it to you. All right. So we'll probably post it on Instagram, too, so you should okay. be able to see it there. But, yeah. I hope somebody gets to win this yarn. It's, it is really wonderful to work with. It really is. And then, as always, we are going to end in a short prayer. Thanks for joining us. Dear Lord, thank you for all of the wonderful, wonderful fun that we've been having in the last week. Thank you for fiber festivals and for fairs and for knitting and for art and for the beauty in the world all around us that you created for us to enjoy. We praise you and glorify you, and we thank you for your son, Jesus. And in your name we pray, amen. amen.